from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. So CS183 VC, uh, all one hashtag, hashtag CS183 VC is in venture capital, didn't happen in a vacuum. It happened slowly and it percolated because so much of what I've read and studied and written about with entrepreneurship and venture capital had to do with timing and had to do with an incredible amount of luck at a very specific point in time where if that piece of luck didn't happen, the startup would go zombie, the startup would go under, the startup would be default dead versus thriving alive and acquired. So that's what CS183 VC seeks to try to do in all 20 online lectures, which is to, to specifically get at timing, specifically hack serendipity. And we're engineers, so we shouldn't have to just roll the dice uh, the way other majors do. So we feel like we should be engineering our serendipity. And the precursor, hi Brady, Bray's interested. The precursor for this is R2D2VC, which here's my little Ewok, pretty my little Ewok. And that's what R2D2VC is meant to do is he's in the backdrop of everything. You know, it sounds sort of like a joke. I'm actually not kidding at all. We're not poking fun at venture capitalists for being C3POs. And when I say C3PO, I mean tall, super shiny protocol droids, manners, etiquette. Those are his, those are his currency. What we want to do with this effort of CS23 VC is we want to try to be R2D2 VCs. If you look at every time Luke, the co-founder or Chewbacca, this chief technical officer, and today it's May, May the 4th be with you day. So maybe I'm a little skewed with my Star Wars references, but every time Chewbacca or Luke Skywalker or Han Solo, they're in trouble, there's always one droid that comes to the rescue, R2-D2. And he does this without manners. He does this in a super timely burst of code. Tell us your theory about associates. Okay, I don't understand why Yoda gets so much credit. Don't even get me started about Luke Skywalker. Oh, no, no. The real hero of Star Wars isn't Britney, okay? Auditor at a uh, uh, firm that will not be named. R2-D2 is absolutely the hero. Oh, sorry. Luke Skywalker, every career inflection point. Oh, my X-Wing fighter's in trouble. Bam, r 2 d is on it. The CTO of the Millennium Falcon, a.k.a. Chewbacca. When he couldn't make the thing... <laughs> Thank you for laughing. When he couldn't make the thing go to jump to light speed, R2-D2 is the CTO's assistant assistant. Packs it, makes the jump to light speed. Bam, they escape. R2-D2, trash compactor, crushing me and all my co-founders, look out, R2-D2, his sidekick, C-3PO, which is how most VCs are, tall, pretty, useless, pretty and useless, C-3PO, no, R2-D2 is hacking the Death Star mainframe, this might be because that open bar with the point 32, 32 basis points of vodka soda that I had, okay. C-3PO, useless. R2-D2, hacks the Death Star mainframe, stops the car garbage compactor. C-3PO, okay, he's not even providing comic relief. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe talking at a panel at Web2 Summit, which they had to discontinue. R2-D2, there's going to be 600 of them at the new venture firm. Uh, a super well-timed uh, ability to do an application protocol interface that's uninvited with the Death Star where he's able to network at the right time a massive amount of good luck. That's what R2-D2VC is and that's what we and I and together what we've done in the real world which is to, to have a lot of these serendipitous things uh, that happen. And the way that we're attempting and executing 
doing these things is completely counterintuitive, completely weird, completely uh, non-intuitive. And that is CS183VC implies that you can moonlight as a venture capitalist before you become a venture capitalist as a CS major. Some of you might, I feel some of the incredulousness. Okay, so everyone right now says money's cheap or money's easy or there's so much money chasing after so few a number of deals, right? It doesn't take, and the other fact is you don't need money to start a company. Set those aside. What we do need is code, well-timed, well-placed code. The well-placed, well-timed signature business recipe, which is what R2D2 is all about. And that's what CS183VC uh, is, is having us do as people who are software engineers, developers, who are moonlighting a gig. Instead of moonlighting and being CTO, Maybe we should be moonlighting as VCs. Maybe we should be growing equity and just getting upside. Maybe we should be funding startups, not with money, which there's everywhere in spade, but in code, in revenue, in early customer uh, acquisition, in lead generation. And these are all things that a CS major CRO can do. CRO, of course, Chief Revenue Officer. These are the things inside of CS183VC.